Hi, it's Joe here. Uh, we do weekly blog posts, video tutorials, and live streams on everything and anything on data analytics. So today we're going to talk actually about how you would compare column headings in a CSV file to a list. So let's go over to the code, see what it's all about, and see how this could be possibly useful if you're looking to automate some tasks within your Python project. Right, so you have your code here, um, which I'm going to show in a second. And the whole objective of what we're trying to achieve is we're importing a file here in front of us from the CSV file. So in the file, we have all these headings here. So name, address, one, address, two, address, three, address, four, city, and country. And the objective of this code is to check that we received the correct header names. Now, why would you do this? You could have an automated process where you've agreed with a counterparty, a third party, another department to send you some information. But because it's automated, um, you want to check that every time you, you've written your code, you want it to check for specific uh, column headings. So therefore, if it doesn't work, you stop the process and you send out an error report before you continue on the processing. So this is just a check to make sure that what you're receiving is correct. And in an automated process, you can get alerts to say actually the information you have actually received is incorrect. So here we have a CSV file um, that this code, which I'm going to show in a second, will import. And the whole idea is that what it will do is we have a list of predefined pre column headings in our Python code that says this is what we're expecting. We're going to check it against this list here. This, uh, sorry, this, this column headings. And any ones that we don't find in our here, which is down here. Okay, so we've in this code, we don't find we don't find these values basically print them out okay so let's go and look and actually look at the code uh, see what it's doing and see how do you can use this in your python project to help with automating and validated data received okay so as usual we've done this in a number of videos we're going to use a data frame um so again we've imported pandas as pd fine and then we create a data frame equals PD read CSV. So it's CSV dot underscore import dot CSV. So that's in this folder here. Okay. And there's a number of other files there. So it's in this particular folder here. But it's also over here. Um, but anyway, um, these are, so these are, is thing we created a variable called header list. In, um, and it's an actual list of names. And the whole idea here is that this list um, basically is saying that we are expecting in this file name address underscore one address underscore two address underscore three four city and country okay perfect all fine here and um, next thing we're going to do is import the headers and essentially that is basically giving us the list creating a, a variable here headers with all the the header information from dfx access one so Basically, one is to identify the column names. So when we run this, it basically, what it does is reads in, reads in the file, creates this header list, which is what we're going to look up against, imports the headers from the CSV file, um, going to print them. And then the last bit, which is probably the bit um, that you need in this to check for everything, is create a, a final variable called A, and it's just running a loop here. That's basically eye for eye in import headers. So it's basically uh, looping through import headers for every value that we read in. And it's basically saying for every value of i in import headers, so every value basically in import headers, if it's not in the header list in this value here, print it out. So before we go ahead, this is the actual file read in. And basically this is the file, this is what we're checking against. And essentially, we can see here, name is here, name is there. But we have address one, two, three, and four here with no, with no underscore in the actual file. But we're expecting address underscore one, underscore two, underscore three, underscore four. We have city and country, city and country, fine. So when this loop runs and we print it out, all it's basically doing is, um, it's basically saying address one, two, three, and four, which are these values here, have come in in the file, but it's not in this list here. Okay. And we've basically printed it out. So that is how you would very quickly uh, in a line of literally 14, well, less than 14 lines of code there, even more, less, so probably I'd say no more than seven or eight, how you would quickly check a file coming in, predefine a list that tells you what actually should come in, check what's come in in the column headings against the predefined list, and then print it out. 
So if you liked this video today, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for coming along. We're doing weekly blog posts, as I said before, video tutorials and live streams. Um, videos coming up on SQL soon, Tableau and data visualization. Hope you've liked this video. Thanks for popping by. See you soon and take care of yourself.